All right, so we got Call of Duty Mobile X Godzilla X King Kong The New Empire. Let's get to the video. Ooh! Hit him with the Caesar. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's an actual skin now? Okay. 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 You know what? All right. Here's what we got. I I don't know why I wasn't really. First of all, I don't think this is bad. I don't think this is bad. You know why? Because Call of Duty Mobile, yes, the mobile game, has better skins than the actual console game. Do you know that? I bet you didn't know that. And in, in the Warzone era. And in the Call of Duty, like in the actual like Call of Duty multiplayer on the mobile, they have better skins. They literally, they have literally, and all the Call of Duty fans, maybe you can agree to disagree, but literally mobile has been absolutely destroying Call of Duty on the, uh, on the uh, consoles and the PC whenever it comes to skins for years. For years, bro, since the mobile came out. Legit, I promise you, I don't know, like, bro, maybe, like, the, the, the teams need to swap. Maybe some people, you know, in mobile need to probably get, like, promoted. Or I don't even know because guess what? Like, mobile games are just killing it. You know why? Because obviously everybody has a phone and everybody, I mean, like, that's just, you know, not everybody has a console. Not everybody has a PC. So, hey, you know what? Maybe the people in the mobile, maybe they don't, <laughs> maybe they don't want to switch. Maybe they just want to stay, you know, and keep creating their skins. But I'm going to be honest with you. This is something that I would expect from like a mobile standpoint. I would expect, you know, Call of Duty to like release this for mobile, um, if that makes sense. I don't know why, but it, like I just feel like this like it gives off like mobile like vibes, like like you know like phone vibes from this. But I'm gonna be honest with you, um, I was literally expecting them to do another like King Kong slash Godzilla like type event because if you guys don't remember, they did this. They did like an event like that, like um, like two years ago or, or a year ago, one year or two years ago. Sorry about that if I don't remember the uh, the actual year, but um, it was literally where um, it was in Caldera and King Kong was literally in the middle of Caldera, and Godzilla was legit in the ocean, and um, like King Kong would jump up and land down, but like legit King Kong would. Like, he would jump across the map. It was crazy. So, and I want to be honest with you, that was actually pretty. Like it was, it was pretty cool. But um, I think like the the god the actual Godzilla and, and and you know King Kong movie I think dropped a year later. So it was kind of confusing. No no no. Sorry. That that actually dropped after the King Kong and uh, Godzilla movie. But I'm gonna be honest with you. This is perfect because I think there's another Godzilla and King Kong movie coming up. So. This could definitely, um, I, I guess, like strategically, like business wise, this was a really good move because the movie, it, the, I said the movie, the movie is very uh, anticipated. And then obviously, you know, you have uh, the skins here, you know, for the new Call of Duty. So, I said, you know, business wise, marketing wise, very smart. I, this something, honestly, you know, hey, to, to your marketing team, Call of Duty, I mean, that's something that, um, hmm, that I would do. You know, I would kind of like, you know, market off of like, you know, what's really popping right now. And that Godzilla and King Kong movie that's about to come out, I think they're gonna go up, go, like they're gonna go up against like some like big evil like, <laughs> I think some like some big evil Loch Ness monsters like slash Godzilla type of thing. So they're gonna have to team up again, which is actually pretty cool. I like when they team up. Um, and, and so yeah, I would definitely ride off. Um, I would definitely ride off the momentum of that movie and like you know transfer it you know to video games as in skins and stuff like that. I I just wasn't expecting them to actually turn um the actual like um like players or the actual operators into like skins i, I didn't expect you know king kong to be an operator i thought he was gonna be like eight thousand feet tall but honestly they shrink them down as you can see right here well in this little short this little blurry uh screenshot right here um 
Godzilla legit. I'm, I'm sorry to all the God, you know, Godzilla fans. Don't come kill me. But Godzilla literally has like like his spikes at the back. That's sick as well. Some is pink. I think I saw some uh, was blue as well. So and then you have a Godzilla uh, legit beaming, literally beaming this guy. I'm guessing this is like a finishing move. Um, obviously, at the before in the trailer, this bro, bro, he just got yeeted, bro. He got Debo. Do you guys remember Debo from Friday? Rest in peace to him, by the way. Bro, he legit got Deboed by Godzilla. And obviously, if you guys don't remember Godzilla, um, the Godzilla finishing move from, um, oh my god, oh my god, from the from the previous Warzone, legit, you would grab the guy and you would just chuck him up, like, in anywhere. He would insta-die. Like, it was crazy, so... Other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about this new Godzilla and King Kong collaboration? Um, I think I don't know when the movie's dropping, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I really want to see that movie, and it was actually pretty smart for uh, Call of Duty to do this, you know, because obviously, you know, the hype for the movie's going up. You know, smart. It's something that I would do. You know, it's something that you would do too, because obviously, like you know, <laughs> we're really smart. Other than that, comment down below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, so you guys get advanced when I'm out, and.